Hi guys, it's a very wet um, Friday evening. I'm actually enjoying a couple of beers on the old bud um, and updating stuff I haven't been able to do all week. Um, do you have to deal with online abuse? Uh, the first thing is, no you don't. This is reality, you don't. Uh, this is the, the bit that these, and I, I do say this quite strongly, but it's reality, idiots, um, they think it's freedom of speech. Freedom of speech is not actually insulting people without any merit. Um, see, freedom of speech is more based around an opinion around something that's factual or um, somebody disliking something. It doesn't mean you have to take any abuse. Um, but at the same time, I'm not American, so I don't have to abide by that crap. And the thing you've got with your YouTube channels, your forums, your blog, whatever, you don't have to engage with these people whatsoever. They do not pay you at all, in any form, to be on your channel. So why do they think that their time of insulting you is of more value than your time of doing what you want to be doing. That's all I ask. All right, I got that lesson many years ago from a bank manager. Um, he was a manager of Lloyd's Bank. Now, bear in mind, he wasn't a local manager. He was, he was quite, quite high up in the business. He actually turned around and said that he evaluates everything in time. He doesn't evaluate it in money. Because even when he's on a phone call and someone says, oh, I'm sorry that I've called you. And it's like, are you going to give me those five minutes back? Well, no. It's like, well, you're not sorry then. You know, because, you know, he's quite aggressive with it. But it's later on in life. You understand what he's talking about. The fact is, don't waste other people's time. And this is the thing. You control your time. If you look at somebody like uh, the guy who wrote the four-hour work week, try and get his private email. See, a lot of these people will quite happily spam you with them trying to sell their products, and some of them are crap, and some of them are good. But at the same time, they understand the value is their time. And this is the thing. When you get somebody trying to say that you're this or this, and you're trying to go, oh, I'm trying to see logic in this, and trying to put a bit of common sense on it, you know what? You don't have to. These people are idiots. Um... You will get some that are mistaking things or misreading things, but when you actually look at probably about 80, 80 90% of it, um, they don't understand what you're talking about anyway. Uh, it's, it's often to do with the stuff that's going on, whether it's their education level, whether it's their um, issues in relationships or whatever. I mean, like as an expat from the Philippines, you find there is a six six month window a lot of the time where people think everything's great. So anything that actually goes against that, then you're wrong, even though you've been there 10 years or whatever. No, they're wrong because they're still in tourist mode. It's only when they get burned, they're suddenly going crying to the same person they were calling a butthole or something a month earlier, that if they're smart enough, they realize they were in the wrong. But, you know, honestly, most of them would never actually admit it. Um, so all I'm saying to you guys is, I know you guys do YouTube stuff. Yeah, I know you do blogs, websites, whatever it is. You don't have to put up with it. I had this uh, last, I mean, funny enough, it's Friday again. Last Friday, um, I was with my brother. And he picked me up from the train station. So we're driving back and we're stuck in a queue of traffic. This guy has come out from between two parked cars, right? He's reversing off a, it's not a driveway, it's more a case of he's knocked down the, the front wall of the house and parked his car on it. And he's like, Arr. first thing in the UK, that is actually a fine for misuse of a horn, uh, which is, I think it's an 80 pound fine, because obviously we're not actually, we're actually on the main road. Uh, second thing is he reversed onto a main road. You should always actually, um, if you're going into a driveway, should actually reverse into the driveway. 
it's it's actually basic highway code it hasn't changed it was in the highway code when I passed over when I was 17 years old um, so this guy we're just minding our own business and it's like jumps out all aggressive in his tatty little tracksuit and he's like you know he's giving it that and the thing is I've got my window open because it's quite a hot day but the thing is he's all this from six ten feet away um, I assume he thought he was intimidating but the thing with me is I'm on the way home quite chilled most of the time anyway these days but he's like you move your car and and all this, and I'm like, I just said to my brother, I said, no, leave the car there. It says, we could leave your space, but not with the abusive language you're using. No, you can wait. And he's like, well, you're fat, all this sort of stuff. And I'm like, what? what what's he want me to do? Does he want me to jump out and smack him over the head with a tire iron or something? I see this as more of a case of the fact the guy, first thing is, he wasn't, it was all peacock feathers. Because um, the thing with me is, if you go and smack me in the mouth, you're going to get probably five to ten smacks back, and probably a lot more. Um, but on top of that, why didn't he just be civil about it? You know, if he come up and says, come on guys, can you give me a bit more space? Because I, I know I'm trying to get off the driveway, and I, you probably didn't see my car. Uh, but, you know, if you let us out, I can, I can whiz off while you're stuck in the traffic. Problem solved. A bit of civility. Um, and the, the thing is, for me, he doesn't bother me. And that, that, I think that's where you guys need to get sometimes, is realize that these abusive messages are down to the frustration that they have other problems. I looked at the guy and I thought, he's got a problem with his, his girlfriend or whatever. They, he's come out of the house. They've been giving it all that, arguing with each other. He's gone out the car all wound up. And you know what? It ain't ruining my day. I don't care. You know, I'm chilled out. I don't, I couldn't give a, you know, I couldn't give a monkeys. I couldn't, I couldn't care. That's what his problem is. Um, but at the same time, he's all peacock feathers. He's, he, he's not in my face. If he was, I would have got out of the car and quite happily dealt with him. But at the same time, he wasn't smart enough to use a bit of decorum and civility to say, uh, you couldn't move your car back just so I can get off the driver. I, you may not have seen me, blah, blah, blah. And just move on with it. That, that, that is the funny thing. And this is what you'll find with some of these people with their comments. A lot of the time, it's down to the fact they've got other stuff going on. I had somebody try to scam me this week, and then when you find out the guy's actually begging people online to send him money because he's he's basically can't for, afford his uh, immigration fees and stuff, um, you pretty much know what's going on. But am I annoyed with the guy? No. But what I will say is, don't let these people affect you. Um, they're just not worth it. And. The day they wake up to the fact that they've done something stupid would be nice. Um, because for me, I think there is far too much aggression in the world on stupid things. Um, it was like somebody yesterday, was on, I did that video about the scamming artist. And he was like, oh, the British are worse than blah, blah, blah. It's the same guy. It's the same guy that tried to scam me out of money. They turn around and use another account to ask me, oh, well, the Brits have scammed the world out of... You know what? I am not Queen Victoria, you sad twat. Um, the, your problem is that you were caught stealing. Now, you have to turn around and be an adult at some point in your life and turn around and realize what you did was wrong. Right? That's the adult thing to do. And for me... In my life, it's not always perfect. You know, some of the things I regret is I didn't spend enough time with my daughter, Nicole, um, because obviously it went off to the Philippines, but at the same time, it's, it's just one of those things you have to deal with. Life is not perfect. If you think you are, then take a strong, hard, long look in the mirror and realize you're not. But half the battle is when you do that, you can start turning around and realizing how you treat other people, 
which is the important bit. Because, like this guy is in my face, whatever, did I start shouting at him? Did I go and find a tire iron or something? I just looked at the guy and said, you need to calm down. I know that would infuriate him even more, but at the same time, he could see I was not bothered in one way whatsoever. I couldn't care less. Um, because quite simply, I've just finished work, I'm chilled out, I'm just waiting to go, go home. And he's the guy that's in a rush that if he's going to work, should have got up 30 minutes earlier. Um, seems to lack that common thing these days, which is responsible for people's own actions. Um, and that's the thing with online stuff. People think they can just be abusive and get away with it. And at some point, they suddenly realize the tables can be turned. You know, whether you turn around and say, right, you know, this is enough for enough. And you actually find some trails of the person and go back to the Facebook and all that sort of stuff and start going, what is your problem? And then suddenly they're going, oh, he knows who I am. Or it's a case of... Um, a case of somebody elsewhere does something to them, which is very similar to what they do to others, and they don't like it. The main thing in this is, if you guys be better above it, eh, let's be better, be better, rise above it. Um, you're better than that. And I know I am, I can't be bothered with it. The, these individuals that have these horrible mentalities and um, issues. I know from a um, society point of view that society is going down the toilet quicker than anything else these days. But hey ho, that's why I live in Spain. Um, I'm back next week. Um, it's just sad that this is the way the world is going. I will say that I do find in the Philippines, people are more respectful. I do find in, this is, now, see, this is the fun thing, is, you know, some people say I'm anti-American, but I'll say this from a Brit's point of view. I will find, I find pretty much anywhere on the planet beyond the UK to be far more civil these days. And civil is quite an interesting word, if you actually look up the history of it. And the same with, uh, colonization and things like that, the civility of other nations is often way, way more than I experience in the UK these days. Um, that's sad. It, you know, it's not something where I'm all wound up and annoyed about. It's sad in the sense that it's destructive. It's destructive for everybody. There is no benefit. There is no upside. The... It's a downside. And I know somebody mentioned earlier about the American thing. That's why I stress the fact that there's a lot of um, dumb Americans in the sense of, in the sense that the amount they go to the Philippines. It's not a stress on the fact that all Americans are stupid or something. It was just stressing the point. There's a lot of these people that try to scam, etc., etc. Um, and it wasn't really running. America down, it's just that the fact is, it's reality. Um, because I've got a lot of good American friends, and they are not in that group, but if you spend a bit of time, say, in the Philippines, you'll start to recognize what I'm talking about. Um, if you can't, you're probably not looking hard enough, or you're part of the wrong group. <laughs> but the whole thing on this is, you know what? Just be a better person, or try to be. Um, for me, I'm not. I know I am quite aggressive on some stuff, and yes, I'm anti many things. Um, yeah, simple as that. There's some. There's a lot of stuff that bugs me, and I'm sure a lot of stuff bugs other people. And I, over the last probably 10, 15 years, I've tried to do it more constructively. Uh, in the sense that I want to get rid of some of the bad stuff in the world. This whole Grenfell fire thing in London, I, I know it was an accident waiting to happen. And people will go, well, how do you know that? Well, 
I work in that industry and I can see it all over the place. You think that the fire thing was a, uh, a problem? I'll tell you now, Carillion, the following week, um, we're reviewing all the buildings that just recladded in Birmingham because they had no idea how many of them were actually compliant. Other companies are doing exactly the same. Commercial buildings were going over the same. And you know the joke in all this? They should already know. That's the reality. And this is why I'm quite aggressive on it. Um, a friend of mine this week, I was talking to, he, he's an architect. Um, and he, he just potters around watering plants and stuff. Why? He's just, his own words, I'm just totally disillusioned with it all. But I think that's it. I think this is where the West, in many cases, I mean, especially in the UK, it's sort of got these idiots in charge that are destroying everything. They're stupid. Look at the whole Brexit thing. These people are self-centered channel mongers. They follow a channel of thought. They don't think. They follow something that keeps them in power as long as they get a pension and fund out of it for as long as possible. They are a failure of society. Um, and I say that quite strongly. I mean, look at Carillion. His stock was wiped out by about 60%, yet it picked up a massive deal with the train, the new train system going on in the UK. How do you think that happens? I'm not saying anything, but at the same time, that's the way these wheels turn. And I think that's where a lot of people, the Joe Publics, need to wake up and realize how the whole system churns and does something about it. But anyway, from a uh, point of view of somebody who does vlogging, if somebody sends you abusive messages, and I get probably three a day, just delete, ban, and block. You don't have to engage with them. Like I said, the civility is free. Civility is free. So if they can't manage the basics, you don't even know them a response. Delete, plan, and block, gone. And if they keep creating the account, bear, bear in mind, delete, plan, and block takes two seconds. For them to create an account, add it to a phone, all this sort of stuff, it takes five, ten minutes. So they think they're wasting your time. In reality, they're wasting their own. Thanks for watching.